I reckon all them commie haters over there in Washington, D.C. don't like me much because they're very afraid of um, the idea of someone being able to communicate into someone's brain via a computer or a microphone or um, like some, some other way of communicating with them, like through like maybe a video camera even. Um, but I, I've never seen that. But what I have seen is, is video data transmitted, which would mean um, audio and visual data. But um, audio obviously in your brain becomes not audio. All right, so what I'm talking about is computers in your brain and I don't want to talk about them anymore because I feel like anytime you talk about them, everyone goes, okay, schizophrenic. Because if you believe that an advanced technology exists that does not currently exist, then you must be mentally ill because I can't explain it. This sounds like the ancient times, you know, like down, like during this, the, the, like, Christian like persecution of like the scientists like when like got Galileo burning at the stake and shit That's what it sounds like to me when I uh, think about someone saying that I'm schizophrenic Because you don't believe the technology exists even though the science is almost it's not actually there the, the the neural interfaces right now that they use are really big and so when you talk about the neural neural interfaces I'm talking I'm discussing I'm talking about nanotechnology which is like, you don't even know if we're talking about binary communication, because my guess is that it's a different type of wave, but I don't really know, because my understanding is that the firing of action potentials in your brain, which is your, 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 your brain communicating with itself, are actually chemicals, like that's a chemical reaction, and so how can you transmit chemicals in the brain? There must be some sort of like um, modem, you know? There must be like some sort of way, way of encoding this, this data, but like on the nanotechnology level, I don't really understand it. I set out to understand both the nanotechnology side and the machine learning side. Uh, I think I failed at both, but I do understand the machine learning a lot more. And um, I still don't think this, can, this, this machine is, is that smart, but I think you can make it smart if you can allow it to access enough data um, fast enough. And that's the question about processing and um, I don't think most 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 people that are in science world think that processors are to the point that I'm talking about now where like you can crunch as much data as I, I think I think this machine learning algorithm that these people use and machine learning hardware they use is very powerful. I think they can really they can really predict reality well, but um, I don't know. All I'm saying is. I know that the computer software exists, or that I know that this, this neural interface crap exists, but I don't think it matters because I, it's science fiction, I'm mentally ill, but then the area that everyone knows I'm not mentally ill is in the drug lab area where I've been pursued my whole life. So... I feel like now that I've talked about this, it's like, ruins me in court, but I've talked about it in the past, but there's the whole time I'm in court, Miley Cyrus, Miley, Miley Cyrus, it's like, dude, do you know how, do you know like how long it's been since I talked to her? I don't. Like if, if she's even the person that I thought she was and I don't even know who I thought she was because really I, I like, like I said, I don't know the last time I even talked to her, but